So we've got a Snapper RE110 here and the friction disc is out on it. So most of the time the symptoms that people are get will get with something like this is not going into reverse. This has the forward backwards on it over here, but if it's not going into reverse on these, normally that's going to mean the friction disc is bad. So pretty easy job on these. You'll just go to the back. You don't even have to open it up, but I've got it open here just for ease. So you can see the friction disc here and it's about worn flat. So there should be kind of a bump out here. I'll show you the new one, but all it does is it engages up here against the engine where it spins and that's what drives your wheels goes into that gearbox there so I've got, again I've got the back taken off here if you want to take it off you know to give you a little bit better better view it's just a couple half inch bolts all the way along the side and then the top here and then a couple 9 16 that hold the bracket here on so nothing really falls out of place here this all goes back together pretty well so if you want to take it apart, take it apart. Otherwise, get to it from the bottom, you know. I usually just use a right angle from the bottom, and I'll zip the four nuts off there and go. But So if you look at the difference here, how much, how much rubber is actually on there, there's a lot more rubber on this one. So that other one's worn completely out. Looks like that's a Briggs & Stratton 7600135YP. you hear how to get that done again just a half inch here that's all you're gonna need again down through the bottom was nice and easy most times when I do it but all you're gonna do is you're gonna take off these four half inch nuts all the way around here this should all spin freely as long as you've got it in neutral So once you take those off of there, everything's just going to fall out there. Your plate off, and then you've got your friction disc there. If that's damaged at all, you'll want to go ahead and replace this piece also, kind of like a clutch disc piece. This comes straight out, and that's it. You know, you can see again, there's hardly anything left. It's almost flat, flat on here. The new one from the metal up has all kinds of rubber. So it goes on like such. When you put this back on here, you want to make sure that this sits around the whole thing. When you tighten it back down, you don't want to get it off to the edge like this and tighten it on there, smash it down. So. You'd be able to tell that by whether or not it was still free. If it's spinning free, it's installed correctly. See how it kind of goes off kilter there? So now it's now it's in there real nice. Alright. The spring's wanting to work against me over there, but that's okay. Nuts back on. Again, the only reason I have the back off in this case is just to show you, give you a little better view. From the bottom, this is this is just as easier if you jack it up just a tiny bit. So as I'm tightening these down, that's in the center there. And now just that quick, we've got our new one on there. That's all there is to it. You know, once you get those tightened up, that's the new one on. Nice and easy. You know, there's, and again, from the bottom, you can get that no problem also. I don't know why my right angle's not going to go. There it goes. Again, make sure it's, you just want to tighten those down there. So 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover back on now, but normally you won't even take this cover off. If you're putting the cover back on, if you've taken it off, you can see that this just kind of flips up, works right onto the front there, and straight up in. There's nothing really to come to come out or get disconnected or anything like that if you are taking it off. You know, it all lines back up as you're putting it back in there. So once you put that all back together, if you've taken it apart, again, it's just two 916s here at the bottom and the rest are just half inch that go around the outside. But that's all there is to it. Nice, easy friction disc replacement. Again, make sure that it spins freely before you reassemble it. But other than that, nothing special whatsoever. Nice, easy DIY replacement. Should take you less than half an hour. And you'll be ready, back ready to rock. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.